giving birth to in the city of Ajegule. You've heard of Ajegule. And that was where I grew up. That was where I was until I finished university. I left the city of Ajegule last year. That was because I decided that I'm no longer going to be in Ajegule. I want to leave this city. And so I relocated from Ajegule and got a very beautiful house in Satellite Town. But even while I was in Ajegule, people began to see me. And then, many times, I would step out to maybe fetch water or do something and people would see me. And some women would be like, ah, bros, are you still in this Ajegule? I'll be like, yes, they say, bro, used to see you. I say, I'm always inside my house because I work from home, I work for myself. And I'm like, I'm always inside my house, I'm working. They're like, ah, this place no fits you again. And I was like, oh, wow. You know why? A lot of people began to tell me that Ajegule didn't fit me anymore. And these were people who were comfortable in the same Ajegule. So I began to ask myself, are they not human beings like me? What was it about me that made them feel like this place doesn't fit me, even though it still fits them? Do you understand? It means that I must be doing something different or I must be different in a certain way that makes them feel like this place doesn't fit you, sir. Please leave us here and go. This is not your place. It is our place, not your place. You know why? Because many times we put a certain lead on our life based on our experience and the things we've seen around us. Why did I want to leave Ajegole? Because I told myself that I wanted to enter an environment that resonates with the core of who I have become. I want to move around and see buildings like this particular one around me every time. So I wanted a house that looks like how I think. Do you understand? I wanted an environment where the houses surround me, surrounding me would look like how I think. The road will look like how I think. So when we talk about big performance, we're talking about the only thing that you have as a person, you have control over as a person, write it down, and you have the capacity to use it the way you like. It is the only thing you have as a person. You have total control over it as a person and you have the capacity to use it anyhow you like. That is the only thing that can put you in a state of peak performance as far as your life is concerned. It doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter what you have experienced. If you can make use of this tool, you can change your life from anywhere, even, in, even if you are abandoned in some visa forest. If you were to guess what this thing is, what would it be? What do you think it is? This one thing that you have as you sit right here, this one thing that you have control of as I'm talking to you, this one thing that you can use anyhow you like and nobody will question you for it. What is this one thing? Education, okay. Opportunity. You want to try? Just try. Character. Okay. Good. That one thing is your mind. Your mind. If you can make use of your mind, you can do anything. You can achieve anything. You can become anything you set your mind to. Guess what? Nobody can control what you think. Nobody. Even your parents, they cannot control what you think. So it means that you can just sit down and think greatness and nobody will arrest you. Do you understand? Do you understand? 
It means that you can just sit down and imagine that you are the President of the United States of America and they cannot arrest you for thinking it because it is your thoughts. Do you understand? I'm trying to show you that you can think some things. It means that you can sit down and picture your village and build a 50-story building glass house and nobody will question you or arrest you. Do you understand? Do you understand? It means that you can sit here now and you will say your village is not hard and you will tie it in your mind and see people hailing you and greeting you and celebrating you for tying that road. Do you understand? It means that you can think anything you want to think. But the question is, what have you been thinking? Have you been thinking big things or you are thinking small things? Because you know what? You can never grow beyond what you think. You will never ever grow beyond what you think. 